Hello, if your institution is having you move your classes at least temporarily to an online format, you may have been asked to also have some synchronous meetings with your students. And so I want to show you a couple of ways to use Zoom within Canvas, a learning management system, to make this sort of thing happen. A couple of ways that you can put Zoom within an accessible space for your students on Canvas. One way is just to come down to the bottom of your uh, navigation bar and click Settings. Uh, usually you might, you might start off with something like in the course details, uh, something like this, or maybe in the sections area, but if, you, if so, then click to Navigation. And the area above here um, has all of the things that are available to your students, aside from things like Due Date Changer. So these tabs, as you can see over here, are available um, to students, again, aside from, from that one. And then anything below this line are things that are currently hidden from students as far as it being a navigation tool. So I do have where students are using things like the voice thread, and, but they just don't have direct access to that tool. But down here, and it might be in a different place on this list for you, but is Zoom. And if I just grab this and drag it up you know, into this space, I can put it actually even here under people, or I can move it up if I want. And then to make sure that it does show up in the navigation bar to be accessible to students, click Save. And so now when I come in here, I can see, see that Zoom um, is available. If you want to double check, you can come into Home, go into Student View over here on the right side, and then you see that Zoom is available. Uh, so right now there are no meetings. But let me undo that and show you another method. So what I am likely to do is to actually add instances of Zoom meetings into my modules. And the way to do that is I come into modules and come down to a module that I will want to put it in. So we're right now on spring break and then afterwards. So this coming week, I want to add that in. So I come over here to the right side the top of my module and it's not an assignment what I need is to click on external tool and when I click on that it'll give me all the external tools that I have available to me through my institution and down here at the very bottom is alphabetically ordered so I come to the bottom to zoom and I tell it to add that item now it's not published automatically so what I need to first do is click on the the name of Zoom there, and then set up a meeting. So I want to schedule a new meeting. It automatically gives it the topic as my uh, course name. You can put in a, a meeting description if you want. I will then come in here and adjust it for the day and time of my class. It is a two-hour class, or just under two hours. And then, um, so for this. Now, if I didn't want to necessarily have it, you know, set up for just this day, you can have it as a recurring meeting. And I can say weekly, every one week. Make sure it's every one week. And so you can say, you know, end it by a certain date. Um, or we can say after a certain number of occurrences and I will say okay there will be three weeks so we're going to do this. I do want to have um, video start for me and participants. It does help to allow for audio in both kinds of ways whether computer audio or phone. I've heard that it helps to have phone capabilities to keep from feedback but so does muting. So I do like to mute participants upon entry some institutions are saying, and I, I kind of agree with this, is that clicking on this record the meeting automatically in the cloud 
will help you know so that you've got an instance of that meeting um, and so um, I actually am not going to require a meeting password I do like to enable join before host because students might want to come in you know a few minutes uh, you know ahead of time or just to want to check to make sure that they are able to get connected and then save that and now I have those those three set up so if I come back in now to my uh, module uh, week 10 the zoom is there and then I want to publish it so they will be able to see and so when they click they can choose um, one of these that they're going into. You can set them up separately if you uh, rather do that, but you can do it all in, in one sort of shot. So that is how you set up uh, some Zoom meetings for your classes.